Hey Scorpio, welcome back to the channel. Fiery Falcon Tarot. It's gonna be a quick what's good what's the good that's coming in for you for the month of February. Sorry, I just wanted to do a little shuffle on those real quick. Um I just did a Libra's reading and I was like, oh shit, I didn't do this that. Alright, but anyway, hi Libra or shit. Hi Scorpio. I'm so sorry guys. Hope you guys are doing well, feeling well. This is gonna be a what's good for you. What's the good things that's coming in for Scorpio for the month of February? What is the good things that's coming in for Scorpio for the month of February? Please and thank you, Archangel, Spirit, Guys, Ancestors. What's the good that's coming in for Scorpio for the month of February? What do they need to know? Ooh. Ten of Water. So you guys could... Uh, be wanting a family like setting or connection wow the world card at the bottom of the deck which is three let's pull out some more cards here before we get into your message what is the good that's coming in for scorpio for the month of february sun moon rising and venus oh wow oh wow let's see if we can get one more for you guys i've been typically trying to get three All right, the bottom of the deck of, uh, wow, we have seven of air. Okay. All right, set that down there. Uh, the other card that came out was the four of earth, so four of pentacles. And we have the five of earth. Okay. So I'm getting like, this is like Scorpio singles that may have went through, you know, either a divorce, a separation here, or maybe moving out from a parents. Because the 10 of water is like, you know, family, security within the home. Then we have the four of earth, which is uh, holding on to the idea or holding on to like a actual individual here. Yeah, both of these cards is coming out in the reverse Scorpio. So I'm getting this is def definitely geared towards a lot of my single Scorpios out there. But like I said, just separated themselves from a tough time. Uh, we have the seven of air at the bottom of the deck. And then we have, uh, what does it say? Ooh, the emperor. Okay. Okay. Okay, or maybe this is you guys planning to go towards an emperor here because the seven of swords can be talking about plans uh, Then we have the page of air and then we have the temperance. Oh, sorry temptation at the bottom of the deck. Oh, man. Okay Okay So, okay, it's not a bad thing. I mean I'm not gonna lie. It could sting for a little bit, right? It could sting for a little bit, but the outcome will be significantly it will be better for you guys, all right? Page of Air. This is someone that they could have been having communication with someone online, you or them. Uh, but we have the Emperor and we have the Seven of Air. So something definitely didn't fall in. It didn't go as planned, right? And that's okay. Um, sometimes when things don't go quite as planned, it's because the plan needs to be revamped, revised, or you just need a whole new blueprint, right? Um, to recreate on, right? So a lot of you guys, this is what you're learning that you have to do here. At the bottom of the Roman Angel, we have codependency. All right, so some hair, someone, some, some, you know, someone was codependent in the relationship. Okay, someone didn't really make. I'm getting. I'm hearing someone didn't make the cut. Okay. Hey, I'm not here to judge anybody. I'm just here to give the downloads and the messages and, and what I'm getting the energy off the car here. So someone didn't make the cut is kind of what I'm getting here. Um, and this could have been someone that you may have been hoping to create some type of family with, some type of future with someone. You could have been holding on to this idea for, I'm hearing, I, I heard umpteenth time, but I don't, I don't really know. I don't really use that. 
But uh, you could have been holding on to the idea of, you know, possibly having a family with this person, creating a family with this person, creating some type of stability with this person here. And I feel like things did not transition that way because uh, you were not good enough in someone's eyes, Scorpio, right? But don't don't take that. You know, I don't. I, it sounds very rude to say it like that, but this is what I'm hearing. Like, but it doesn't matter what someone else thought of you because if they were in toxic, low vibrational energy, then ultimately that's not the person you want to develop anything with, right? You don't want to put them on no type of blueprint. That's like having them co-sign on something that you, you know, that you could end up losing here or whatever the case may be. You don't want them on anything like that because of the type of energy that they're embodying and what you, they have proven themselves to have minimum, minimum potential here, right? They didn't see your worth. That's okay. Then that means it's time for you to move forward because God has someone better for you or whatever you subscribe to the universe has something better suited for you that will align to you and will you just and will be just for you we have the five of earth here like i said it could sting for a little bit but i feel like you know we all have the ability to manifest exactly what it is um now you're the only sign that any of the romance angels came out in the reverse so this is giving me strong separation for sure so I'm going to read those, okay? We have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And this is what you learned, that you do not want to explore anything further with this connection, with this person. Um, <clears throat> you know, this person could have been like that for, you know, three to four, three to five years, okay? That you guys could have been dealing with this individual. Um, the next card that came out in reverse is give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. And again, it came out in the reverse. So this is clearly the same. You guys have learned, you guys have figured out your worth and you're no longer working towards a partnership that is, you know, we're not on a path for, to nowhere, right? We the, the thing in life is that we want to evolve and we want to elevate. So that's strongly what I'm getting here. And, and you, you shouldn't be stuck in no situation that isn't doing just that. Like I said, no one's on a path to nowhere. Or at least we shouldn't be. Uh, we have spaceship. Don't be afraid to sing. All right? So maybe you need to tell your story. Write a book. Put your thoughts in a journal. Or just simply communicate with your higher source of power. So that way you can be clear on exactly what it is that you want. That way they can, you know, man allow that energy to manifest within your life. All right? 43 is 7, so some of you guys could be a life path 7. You could have been in this situation for 7 years, 7 months. Uh, it could have been 7 months that you separated. It could have been 7 weeks since you separated. Take it how it resonates. We have the first card I'm grabbing is expectations. Don't seek anyone's approval. I love that. I feel like this is exactly what you need at Scorpio. And I believe it's 12 or 21 on the card, which reduces to 3. Okay. And see the two uh, balls of fire there? Is there three there? Yeah, oh my god, okay, there's actually three of them. So it's kind of giving me like the three of wands, but like a fire pit type of setting here. So this is like your angels that is just shining the light on your wounds, shining the light on a new path, on a new journey. Some of you guys may be wanting to cut your hair off. Some of you guys may like converses. Okay, take it how it resonates. I'm getting Pisces too, or Cancer with the moon symbol right above her head there. So I heard Pisces, but I, I see Cancer too. So it could have been a Cancer that you guys were dealing with. Take it how it resonates. We have, yeah, sun, paint the sun back into your sky. Number 11. Okay, so this is just you guys expressing yourself. You may be speaking to a therapist about it, and there's no shame and speaking to a therapist, you guys could be getting a life coach. There's nothing wrong with that either. I feel like, actually, honestly, I feel like speaking up and speaking out about it, it allows us to heal and process things a lot deeper than, you know, just keeping it inside of us. All right. So the next card out, we have Storm. Every hurricane comes to an end. Exactly. And this is 44, the number eight. Okay. 
I'm on the East Coast. And it has been pouring down raining here today. So you guys could definitely be feeling like that. And as you see her running on to her new journey, her new path, she's fixing her crown. Right? So don't be afraid. Fix your crown. Things are definitely going to transition for you for the better. Because ultimately, you guys stood up for yourselves. Let's get you a daily healing oracle. What is the good that's coming in for Scorpio for the month of February? At the bottom of the deck, because I almost forgot. It says, begin to see yourself as a spiritual being having an earthly experience of growth and transformation. Oh my God. I love this. I love when the cards um, coincide together and they just kind of go with the flow. And hopefully you guys can see that. Sometimes there's a really bad glare. But I couldn't, this couldn't be any more clear for you guys. I was going to put it back in the deck, but I'm actually going to leave it out here on the table for you guys. Let me move this out the way. Set this over here on the abundance candle. Um, the card that actually flipped out for you guys, Scorpio, is to fill your... I'm sorry, hold on. To fill your innate sense of truth, develop open-mindedness, okay? And I feel like you've done just that. You have developed your open-mindedness, and you're no longer uh, people-pleasing. You're no longer doing without, right? This is what I'm getting here. I feel like you guys are strongly providing happiness to yourselves, or you will be, right? Because this could be current, future, or past energy. Keep that in mind. Again, if this is resonating with you guys in any kind of way, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. All right, let's pull out a few cards here. Uh, give me something on this energy shifting for Scorpio. What is the good that's going to be coming in for them after this energy passes over? After this storm clears them? Seven of Cups. You guys are going to have some options here. Okay, what's that? Nine of Wands, you guys are going to be letting your guard down. So some of you guys could be guarded here for a little a little time here after you get out of this energy. And I can totally understand that. Um, what else is coming? Or this could be this person maybe wanting you to let your guard down. But I wouldn't let your guard down. Okay, that's way too many. But I did see the Sun card. I did see the Sun card. What is the good that's coming in for Scorpios after this storm clears? Okay, we've got the eight of swords at the bottom of the deck, Scorps. Okay. And the eight of cups. So, yeah, you're leaving behind something that you did at one point in time, love. I feel like you guys are realizing that you're not going to be in competition. Um, you're no longer going to be defensive about the situation because I feel like you guys may have been, like, you know, defending whatever this was, right, with the Nine of Wands, because usually the Nine of Wands is, like, upright, and that's, like, guarded defensiveness, but with it in the reverse, it's like, you guys are no longer doing that, and I love that for you guys, and you guys are, like, going to be picking up the pieces of yourselves and moving forward here. So, let's see if we can get... Oh, yep, yeah, there we go, Ace of Wands. There will be a new passionate beginning, a new start for you guys. Um, once you walk away from the situation here up oh, and there's the ace of pentacles i saw the hangman so i did mention pisces so you guys could be dealing with the pisces or it could be a fire sign or earth sign take it how it resonates anything else for the good that's going to be coming in for scorpios sun moon rising and venus and i wish i can give you all a timeline because i don't really know who's all watching this and what type of energy that you are, not the energy that you're in, but how your your healing journey is going to transition or transpire or like, you know, how long it's going to take you guys to make a full recovery. But we do have the magician here, which is a beautiful sign behind that. Oh my God, is the Ace of Cups. I love that free squirts. Okay, so there will be something different coming in, but it's again, all about how you go through the transition, right? How you go through the healing process here. We have the Queen of Pentacles here. So this is the universe that we'll be providing for you guys. I just wanted to get something else out here for you guys um, to have a better understanding of what it, how things are going to transition for you once you guys get out of this storm. 
All right. So I know it may be a little gloomy. It may be a little dark today, but tomorrow is a new day. And remember to paint the sun back into your life, Scorpio, to love on yourselves, to coddle yourselves, to call on your ancestors, your angels. Um, it is okay to seek therapy. Um, I myself personally have gotten therapy uh, plenty of times. And sometimes it is hard to be open and honest with ourselves because, you know, we all... We all make mistakes, right? And I'm not saying that you were at fault, but there may have been some things that transitioned in the relationship that, you know, you could have possibly done a little better is all I'm saying here. I know me personally, I've, 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 I've had, you know, mishaps, right? In relationships, I have. Uh, before I was, you know, fully evolved and I'm still evolving. I'm still accelerating here and ascending. But the, the beautiful part of it is, is that, Learning from those previous experiences is what will catapult you into becoming a better person, a better version of yourself. Um, so that is the most important thing. And with that, it requires, you know, it, it requires you to keep it real with yourself. It requires you to look at yourself, right? And the role that you played in the energy here. Again, I'm not faulting you, Scorpio. I'm not saying it's your fault. I'm just saying... As an individual, as a human being, we have to we have to look at ourselves, right? Because we're not perfect. We all do things. It's not one person that can honestly say, um, "Oh, I never do nothing. I never did nothing. I was never the cause of that. I was never that. I was never that. I was never that." And it's like you're a goddamn lie, like because no one's perfect, right? You're, no one is perfect. So if you are saying that, then shame on you because we all need things that we have to work on and improve we should be working on ourselves every single day and improving ourselves every single day that way we can have a honest loving ten of water situation here right tell me what's changed is it my fame is it my what is this no love exactly summer walker and I feel like you guys are going to be in that no love type of energy. And which is completely understandable because of the storm that you guys have gone through. Um, but once the storm clears up for you guys and passes over, I feel like at that point is when you can, you know, really start to paint the sun back into your your, your lives, your future. Uh, not trying to rush anybody's healing process, but just know that the sooner you move through this challenging energy, um, the sooner you find solutions for things that you may need to resolve within yourself take it how it resonates the sooner you can have a ton of water right if you desire to have that but this is ultimately a good statement here this is a good thing um it's never good to go through heartache or heartbreak or disappoint disappointments or anything like that as my phone just pink it's never a good okay phone phone just pink again it's never really a good thing to go through it but ult okay. ultimately, it is a good thing to, ultimately, it, it's it's kind of like a great area there for me. It's like, yeah, it's, it's tough to go through. It's tough to process. It's tough to handle it most times. It's tough on our mental capacity because we're trying to figure out, well, what did I do wrong? Where did this go wrong? i never seen this coming. Like, you know, all of that stuff like that in between. But I feel like once you actually process everything and go through the healing journey, I feel like you will, you know, you will be on top at the end of the day. But that's what I have for you, Scorpios. I didn't really want it to be too long. Um, I got to get out of here soon. But take care. Best of luck, guys. If you need me, I do do life coaching. Uh, my email is in the description of every video. If you need a personal reading, you can do that too. Or if you guys just want to kind of reach out and kind of talk about your situation. Um, you know, we can do that too. I love you guys and best of luck on your journey, on your journey to, uh, new love, prosperity, and most importantly, healing oneself. I love you guys and take care. Please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and you can leave a comment as well.